Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy. I'm here at CloseOutExplosion.com. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'd like to discuss with you the impact of the coronavirus on the wholesale business. This is something very important to discuss, especially if you're importing products from China or you're buying wholesale products that have been imported from China. Number one, the coronavirus is spreading throughout the world. Thank God there seem to be you know, a very good response from the healthcare systems and it looks like it's not, thank God, so far turning into pandemic. But at the same time, it is affecting people and people are getting sick from it. And fortunately, some people have passed away from it. On the positive side, there are companies racing to create a vaccine. There are treatments that seem to be effective. So as far as the business end, well, I don't want anyone to panic. And, you know, panic never helps. I do think it's important to realize that the coronavirus is going to impact the wholesale business. So number one. If the products in China are not being made because people are not going to work because of the coronavirus or because of fears of the coronavirus, then those factories are not going to produce merchandise. And then there's not going to be merchandise available in the marketplace. And there will be a gap between the time that the merchandise, the last time the merchandise was made and the next time the merchandise could be made either in China or perhaps the merchandise can be made in other countries. Another way that the coronavirus can impact the wholesale business is just the fear factor. When people are worried, then people don't invest in business, they don't have their factories running, they don't go to work, and you know productivity slows down. What I would recommend, and I think this is a good idea anyways, and God willing, everything turns out okay, and to, you know, tomorrow morning, or actually, let's say right now, there's a miracle and the coronavirus stops spreading, they find a cure and everything's great. Having said that, so if that happens, great. And if it doesn't happen, this strategy, of course, should be implemented. And I just believe it's a good strategy overall for business. And that is, you need to take advantage of opportunities to buy wholesale merchandise. If you could find a really good closeout now of merchandise, and, you could, and it's merchandise that you need, and it's merchandise that's made in China, even if you need to buy more than you would usually buy, I would recommend buying it because we don't know when the production is going to get ramped up again in China. I'll give you an example. Let's say I buy overstock fashion jewelry and I get fashion jewelry as closeouts that originates in China, right? That is made in China. I might as a wholesaler, maybe I only need, let's say, 20, 30 boxes at a time. But because I'm not sure when more merchandise is going to be available, if I can, I'll buy 50, 60, I'll even buy 100 boxes. I think the same should apply to dresses, the same should apply to shoes, to handbags, to any item that you're buying that's made in China. I would recommend that you buy more merchandise than you ordinarily would buy. Of course, be careful because you want to make sure you can still sell it. But at the same time, you need to think more long term and realize that there's a chance that you might not be able to replenish your stock. Now, what happens, God willing, the coronavirus is over tomorrow and you're able to buy more merchandise. So, okay, so as long as you bought merchandise that's not perishable, you didn't buy perishable goods, meaning you didn't buy, let's say, food, so then it's okay. So you'll eventually sell it, right? You might have bought more than you wanted to buy. You might have put more money into the wholesale merchandise, but you'll have the merchandise and you could sell it as you start selling your stock. So let's say for myself, let's say I buy 50 boxes of jewelry and tomorrow morning, you know, uh, you know, all the world healthcare organizations, all the scientists say, great, the coronavirus is over. Okay, so what will I do? I'll just sell the boxes slowly, little by little, and I just won't buy, let's say, another two or three months from now when I might regularly buy. All right, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please stay safe and have an amazing day. My phone number, which is also my WhatsApp number, is 917-913-6093. Thank you and have an amazing day.